Hey, what's up? I'm the Rookie Critic. If you didn't catch the Dragon Ball Super Special a couple weeks ago, I suggest you scram and go watch it. So, the ultimate battle between Goku and Jiren finally happened, and I think the main word to describe it would be... An alpha. An alpha. An alpha. An alpha. 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 I mean, this dude dominated without breaking a sweat. After fighting Goku's Super Saiyan Blue, times 20 Kaioken, blinking away his Super Spirit Bomb, and even with the new Ultra Instinct Burst, <laughs> Jiren was just like... That's interesting. And then he was like... It means God. Now bow. And as soon as he defeated Goku, the previous Alpha hit, attacked him, trying to catch him off guard, but Jiren was like... <laughs> Please. But Hit, being the Beta Alpha, was like... Our boy Hit gets eliminated, and since Jiren beat the two main threats, he just zones out. Oh yeah, and Frieza gave Goku some energy like how Goku did on Namek, and that was pretty awesome. But back to the topic at hand, Jiren. So obviously the topic of Jiren has flooded YouTube lately, so why not add more to the fire while it's hot, right? Some say he's at low God of Destruction tier. Some say he's even beyond the Gods of Destruction altogether, and others say he's beyond time. But we do not truly know the depths of his power just yet. But really, I mean like really, does it even matter right now? I just do not care how powerful he is. All the Dragon Ball conversations have been who can beat Jiren, or how can Jiren be defeated or tossed out of the ring. Obviously, he is not a villain, just a strong guy protecting his universe. But the main issue that I have is that they have made it pretty clear that the only fighters with transformations and mega techniques are the only ones to possibly have any chance to maybe defeat Jiren. Yeah, I know that's how Dragon Ball tends to be, but I do not care if we see Jiren fight again. There are countless fights that hold more weight, regardless of how strong the opponent is. I'm just starting to wonder how much better this arc could be without Jiren, or at least if his role was a little bit lessened. With all the other fighters, so many are somewhat around the same level, and that makes it more suspenseful, in my opinion. Honestly, I don't think I've seen matchups like this yet. Android 18 vs Ribrian, Piccolo vs Dispo, Android 17 vs Topo. Gohan vs. the two Universe 6 Namekians, Frieza vs. the Saiyans Kaba, Kale, and Khalifla all at once, Vegeta vs. the Machines of Universe 3. I don't know, to me those would be interesting matchups. And after that, fighters would be even more tired and anyone could come out on top. Or possibly a fighter from each universe is all duking it out at once, uh, like a real battle royale. We really don't see that too much in Dragon Ball, and this is a battle royale technically. Maybe all of that would be okay, still having Jiren just kick back after the fight with Goku, but everyone would be too tired to be any challenge. So, I don't know. I wish I could be more interested in Jiren like everyone else, but it's tough. It's tough. And don't get me wrong, I mean, he does seem like there could be something to him based on what other channels have brought, but as far as what I've seen, he's not really showing that much, and I just don't know if I can really care or attach to him. And I know that Frieza already eliminated Kaba, I know, it was just a hypothetical, shut up. I just really want something to interrupt the tournament right now, that would be great. Have a good day guys, Rookie Critic out. There's danger in the air but I won't stop fighting. I'll keep on moving faster and beat you away.